Now let's go ahead and take a look at data declarations. I will go back to our newly created ABAP report. So here and um, the first thing I want to do is um, to, uh, to make a data declaration for a variable and uh, I don't want to um, output this uh, literal here, but in instead I want to use a variable. So I want to make a data declaration, then I will um, assign this text to this variable and then print, uh, print it out. So the first thing um, is data declarations has, um, have to take place after the keyword report. Then we use the keyword data to um, declarate some variables. Uh, as you can see, the keywords are um, blue. So you know that the keyword is correct. If you want to take a look at the correct syntax, yeah, you can use the ABAP keyword documentation. So therefore, just click on the keyword and press the F1 button. Yeah. And then, as you can see, a pop-up will, will appear. That's this one here. That's the ABAP keyword documentation. And um, it's very huge. It contains uh, all the statements uh, with all the additions. So it's not only for um, new developers or for developers who um, has started uh, with ABAP, also for experienced uh, developer who wants to see uh, who want, um, wants to see the the the. the the correct syntax or maybe some some addition there is um that, that's really handy and uh, you have um not only um specific uh, a specific um description of the keyword um then you can also search here for some some keywords and just uh, take a look at um it's really a good uh, description so um, the first thing I want to show you is, as you can see, we're here uh, at the data keyword. And now you see, see here an overview of all um, the possibilities uh, for, for this keyword. For example, uh, you, you, of using predefined types or reference variables, structures, and inter internal tables. So um, let me uh, let me um, jump to the predefined types. Now you see here uh, the syntax, how it looks like. As you can see, the data keyword, then the name of the variable, the keyword type, and then the ABAP type. It's an elementary ABAP type, which you can use. And um, also, as you can see here, uh, we have here an, an, an um, detailed description what this keyword does or what this um, ABAP statement does. And um, the good thing is also you have here some examples um, where, you, where you see how, how it should exactly look like. And for example, we have here an, um, um, the data statement. Um, uh, this is uh, when you want to declare um, many variables, not long, only one, then you use also um, this symbol here and you separate it with the comma and at the end you take the dot. And for example, we have here a variable called text buffer from type string with value that, that's then you can assign it a default value. Then we have here the count variable from type integer with a default value one and a price, which is a packed number with a length of eight and two decimals, also a value assigned. So this is a typical um, example how you can um, declarate variables. So let me jump back to our report. I will close this ABAP keyword documentation and um, now declarate our first variable. I will call it LV for local variable. Um, I use this uh, prefix for variables, then an underline, and I will call it text type string. So that's the the first um, the first uh, thing you you have to do. I I could here also use the value statement to assign a value, but 
You can also make an assignment in the source code if you say LV text equals this text here. That's also a, key, a keyword assignment, um, an assignment, or you can also use the move um, statement. That's this one here, move, then the literal to LV text. This, um, this is the same operation, but it looks uh, a little bit different. So I will take this one here and say, when I want to write the LV text variable. So, and when we now check the syntax, everything fine, so we can activate. And as you can see, we, we got the same thing here, but we, instead of the literal, we used also the text variable. So what I now want also to show you are um, all an overview of all elementary data types. So that's this one here. We had um, data types with a fix, uh, fixed length, um, C for text fields and for, for numeric fields. It's also an alphanumeric um, field, but um, only numeric uh, variables are allowed here. Then we had D for date, um, T for time, X for hexadecimal, packed number, integer or and floating point number. Then we have um, data types with a variable length, like string for character strings and X string for byte strings. Then we got also complex types, like structures and tables. Structures consists of several fields, which are grouped together to one single line. And uh, table types are uh, multiple lines uh, which have the same line type, which, ha which has, has um, the same fields, but several lines. Then we have um, object types, like classes and interfaces. You maybe um, know it from other programming languages. In ABAP, there's also an object-oriented um, um, part of the ABAP, which is not part of this course. If you want, um, if you want, um, if you are interested in the object-oriented programming in ABAP, there's a separate course of mine, which is called um, ABAP Objects. And uh, you will find it in the bonus lecture, which is the last lecture of the course. And um, there is also a an, an discount and you can take also the other course if you want to. So, and the last um, data types uh, or um, the last, uh, which I want to, to mention here, is the, the, the reference types, which are uh, pointers. Maybe you know it also from other programming, programming languages. Um, pointers only point to other um, objects or um, other data, uh, da um, data references. So, for example, you could have a variable um, from type string, and then you could have also a reference variable which only points to this, uh, to the other va variable. Or you can have an object variable which points to an object, for example, of a class. So, but um, that's, um, that's a short overview. Let me go back. What I now want to show you are the complex types. So I want to uh, uh, show you how you can declare a structure and a table type. So let's jump back to the report. Here we are. Now, what I now want to show you is, um, first of all, we will, we will um, declare a local type in our report. And therefore we use the types statement. Then I use the keyword begin of because I want to declare a structure. And then I have to put the name of the structure. I will call it this one here. And I will take them, um, I will just um, use as an example some material data. So I will call it mat data. And now I have to say which fields this structure contains here. And first of all, I want to take the material number who has the type um, C in, in a length of 15. Then I also want to have a material 
text, which is also an character field with a length of 30, and a material unit, which is also a character with a length of 3. And now I have to conclude the structure with the keyword end of ty metadata. And now I have um, here defined a local type which is only valid within my report. So this structure here only consists, only exists in, in my report. If I have an, another report, I um, don't want, um, I, I cannot use this structure in the other report, it's only valid within my report. So now we only defined the type here. What we now have to define is an local variable from uh, which has the structure of our local type structure. So now I will say data ls for local structure and I will call it math data type this one here ty metadata. So that's the first one. And now I will also assign, assign some values to our local structure. So for example, I can say ls mat data mat number equals one. Then the material text is like And the last one, the units are, for example, pieces. I will say it so like that. And now I want to output output it just like that. And when we now check the syntax. I get a spelling error here, just like that. Correct. Okay, now is uh, everything is correct. I can activate it, and we got an output of our three fields of this structure. So that was um, that was the structure. What I now also want to show you is an internal table. So we don't want only one material, we want multiple materials. And uh, this um, we want at, um, to fill this uh, internal table at runtime. And therefore we have to um, declarate the internal table. The syntax is like that, LT for local table. I will also call it metadata and use now the keyword the, the keyword type table of ty math data. So as you can see now we said that it's a table of math data. I could also here um, have here also some other additions like um, sorted table or standard table or hash table, but um, if you only say just type table of, it's a standard table of, um, of our type, which we defined here above. Okay, so now we have um, declared the internal table. What we now have to do is to, we want to fill the data, but we don't want to fill the data with the same text. So I will use an do, uh, do command if you want to see I will uh, go um, go to the uh, keyword documentation and press the F1 button and yes as you can see that's the um, unconditional loop statement so this um, do um, do loop you, uh, you say you can say how many times it should be processed and um, it would be unconditional um, this uh, so many times be processed. So for example, when you say do five times, and we say here, and do, and all the statement within this loop will be processed five times. So now what I now want to do is to, I, don't, I want to, um, to assign 
the current um, the current counter of this loop to the material number. So I don't don't want a fixed value, but I will use the sy uh, structure. This uh, this structure is uh, filled at runtime with some some actual um, values. For example, the sy index field is used with the current counter of this loop. So I will use it here to assign the number. And I also want to concatenate the text in the material text. Therefore, um, there's an, um, an ABAP statement, uh, which is called concatenate to um, concatenate um, some, um, some, some um, texts and literals together. So the syntax for it is the field you want, the fields um, you want to concatenate with, just like that. And we also want to have the material number within, and we will put it into the material text field, just like that. We that we don't need anymore. Um, the pieces we can can leave uh, like that, and. Um, a short explanation. So we concatenate this literal here, the material number into the material, a material text. So, and what we now want to do is because we um, assign the values to our structure ls mat data. Now we want to append this um, data to our internal table lt mat data, and therefore we use the command append ls mat data so append structure to lt internal table mat data and now we have um, filled our internal table what we now want to do is to iterate over this internal table and to output the entries so therefore i will use this loop statement loop at internal table lt mat data into ls mat data that's the work area which means that within this loop the current line is um, always put into the work area so we got um, the actual line um, always in the in this uh, structure and now i want to say write ls mat data within this loop so and that's it i will save this check the syntax and activate and when we now run the report yeah we got some data um, as you can see the data is um, in all in one line what i now want to do is to make um uh, to have an um a line break and therefore i will go back and use here uh, in this write command, the slash, which means before um, the work areas uh, has also will be um, will be printed, that will be also a um, new line uh, printed. So when I now activate and run the report, you can see we got the data uh, in per line. Um, every entry, every entry, uh, for every entry, we have an, an single line, and um, yeah, it works correct correctly. So we got um, um, the counter of our uh, loop correctly in our um, material number. We got the material text concatenated, and uh, when we go back and make a short recap, so we got here we defined a local type which is in our case a structure. And this structure contains these three fields here. Then we have got uh, here an variable and string variable. Then we got here an structure because we used here our local type, which we defined here. And then we got here an internal table of our local type. Then we assigned here the string variable and literal and text uh, text literal. Then we make here a um, loop five times and append some data into our internal table. Then we iterate over this internal table and print the data out.